Robert Klippel is often referred to as Australia's greatest sculptor, and some of his masterpieces are on display here at the Olsen Gallery in Sydney's East. With me now is gallery director Tim Olsen. Tim, tell us about this work here, because it's all about colour and form, and it really is a focal point of this year's Sydney Contemporary. This work, to me, is still as, as contemporary and as sharp as what any young artist is producing or important conceptual artist is doing today. And so what I'm doing is using this as a, uh, a kind of template by which how uh, more, more established artists or historical artists can inspire younger artists. Klippel himself was a very humble man and, um, and a lot of people think, find or try to intellectualise his work when they really shouldn't. Klippel was a, a man who um, was fascinated with form and colour and uh, he was, you know, inspired by a lot of the Dada movement. Klippel was, was a, a model maker when he was young, he was in the Navy. He understood about naval flags. He understood about the idea of totem. So these are a collective of little objects that he's made, that he's made into a work in itself. So if we can just go visit some of his more traditional work. As you mentioned, he's very fascinated with form and the Dada movement, of course. Marcel Duchamp actually did a urinal, which was quite out there. And this yes. has kind of got a resemblance to that. Basically, this was originally um, a piece that was put together in wood um, with different objects, industrial objects he found. And, uh, and what he's turned it into is, is a kind of standing figure, you know, a metaphor for, for an individual. And he's cast this wood, wooden object into bronze. His work was very much inspired by what he he could find around in the studio or basically in industrial tips and, and you know, basically reinvented, um, dis discarded things into pertinent timeless objects. And of course he has really had quite an, quite an international appeal. He's exhibited with works from Picasso. Mm. Most Australian artists aren't really that known in the art world overseas. What is it about him that is so distinct? He's not obsessed by landscape. You know, most Australian artists are obsessed by landscape because we're so overwhelmed by the fact that even though most of us live on the coast, we end up in the, in the desert when we talk about the soul and spirit of our land. Klippel was never really interested in that. He was always a very European, Teutonic, you know, Northern European thinking artist. Um, and essentially his work travelled well because it wasn't just reserved for people who had only been to Australia, like Australian landscape is. He really had no ego. I'm a, a very selfless, beautiful man, and I remember him all throughout my childhood, you know, because he and my father were friends. He had the genius of a watchmaker, but on a, on a, you know, with a universal intellect. Too big a scale. Yeah, yeah. He was able to focus on small objects with an expansive view, and all his works have, are just so, so brilliant because there's such an intensity and a vastness in, in what are seemingly just small objects. What we're trying to do here is, because of this work comes from the estate, the Robert Clipple estate, we're trying to maintain the integrity of, of Clipple's memory and work in a way that still maintains its place in the importance of Australian art history. Tim Olsen, thanks very much. So these works will be on display here at the Olsen Gallery until next week, and then they'll be moved to Carriage Works in Sydney's Inner West, where they'll go on display from the 7th until the 10th of September as part of Sydney Contemporary.